You have both done a, a ton of cool stuff already in your career. If someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? Oh, that's really interesting. Wow. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, do you have an answer? Like, I like it's not, mm, well, I, I think like probably just to like, maybe like introduce people, like maybe Stranger Things, even though I'm like a kid in it, obviously, like, in, like you don't want to be like fully defined by like a performance that you did when you were young, but like, I feel like that show is so pivotal, like in my career and like started my career. And so I think it's like, you know, I think that's probably what I would start. People. Also, you've had like such a long time on that show to grow and evolve like, yeah. as a person and actor. So it just kind of has like all of your Yeah, like, total. Well, it's like the, the Harry Potter thing where yeah. it's like just so, you know, it's like such a long thing. And uh, yeah, probably that, I guess. I really don't know because there's so much. Like I, I would say Ghostbusters, but also it's so different from me and so much of, of what I do in act, you know, it, it's very different than what I do a lot of the time in acting. I, I usually do a lot of very dark or depressing, very sad things. I'm usually married, so it's like <laughs> it's it's so fun to play Phoebe. Well, so you're I, Handmaid's, are you? I, I really do love working on Handmaid's Tale. Um, I don't know. It's like Ghostbusters and Handmaids. I don't really know what I would pick. Because <laughs> it's it's so different, it's starkly. Awesome. Yeah. You both record music. When are you doing something together? Right now. Right now. Yeah. We did the harmonize. Ready? This ready? Uh... Save Jira. I did. Um, it was it was really it's a it's a four minute dance track. I could tell. Thank you. It is a four minute dance track. Yeah. I like listen to McKenna's music and it's so like great. It's just like great pop music Thanks. and um, I like yeah we've talked we've talked about like not like collabing but like just me like mixing or like whatever like it to. is yeah um but she has like a team of people that like she works with and like i you know we're both sort of on our own i'd like path. to do something yeah, together it'd be fun yeah jumping into why i get to talk to you guys oh look at that the deal has it's been time. struck yeah, the deal has been made. <laughs> um so one of the things that's cool about this movie uh is that you did there's a lot of practical effects so what was the coolest practical effect that you guys saw like in person when you were filming that you're like oh man that's that's really really cool um, I mean, the, like, the Slimer, like, puppet was really amazing, um, because they, like, got, like, the original, like, mold from the first movie and, like, remade the puppet just from, like, the same exact, um, like, schematics, but, um, that was really cool, and then, like, the, uh, <clears throat> like, slime, you know, shooting out of like my front and my back. That sounds horrible, but um the like front side of my body, that also sounds horrible. His chest. Um the chest. Mm. Yeah, the chest. Yeah. Um that was really cool and uh there's like a lot of stuff I feel like in this movie that are that were practical. I I had a bit that actually didn't make it into the film where it's Paul Carey and I like in a room and we shoot like a proton stream through a window and they had like the window explode and oh, yeah. all sorts of stuff. And that was very fun. And I know this isn't special effects, but um, Logan and I got to ride on a motorcycle with Dan Aykroyd and he really, they really let him drive it. And then he <laughs> ran into a pile of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> And I was in the sidecar, but he made the sidecar hit the pile of dirt, and everybody was like, "Dan, stop the stop the motorcycle!" And it did didn't get, stop. Did it like it launched the sidecar off the pile of dirt, and then like I hit the ground, and he kept going, and we were so far off. And you were and he, fine. Like, we were in a warehouse, obviously. and he drove out of the warehouse doors onto the street. Like, so you just wanted know. to go for a joyride. <laughs> we were just <laughs> yeah. I mean, he also like he on the first movie too. Like he has a, he loves like cars and mm. like speed and trucks and like. On the first one, he was like, are they going to let you go out and, like, take this thing for a spin? I was like, no, of course not. <laughs> like, a 16-year-old with, like, a really expensive Ecto-1, I don't think they're going to let me go for it. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, I, if I was in this, I don't think I would be able to resist when I put on the Ghostbusters costume and I'm wearing the Proton pack, like, saying, F it. Leaving set, going to the Starbucks or a coffee shop and just walking in. You know what I mean? And just like playing Halloween. I yeah. feel like we would get, get in trouble. 
Like I am so down to do that whenever I'm on this or, but they're so secretive with the costumes. It's like everywhere you go, you have to wear like a massive jacket and somebody's gonna follow you around with an umbrella no matter how fast you try to outrun it's them. It's hard to own it for sure. Like, I mean, it's something that like, I'll definitely keep the jumpsuit for sure. Like when, when all said and done. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I can do it after. On Handmaids, like sometimes I'll just go and walk around like in my handmade stuff, like down the street, just because I feel like it or like- The bonnet, do you have like a bonnet? Yeah, I have a bonnet, yeah, I have the red funny. dress. One time I was like covered in blood and I just wanted to go and sit out on the sidewalk. That's funny. People are like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> exactly. Like for me, that's, I, 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 anyway, that's exactly what I would do. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before I run out of time with both of you, you're both working on a bunch of other things what can you tease your fans about what's coming up in 2024 for both of you? Um, I'm working on the fifth and final season of Stranger Things, which should be, you know, really awesome. Like we're, we just sort of started. And so really excited for that. And uh, it's kind of all encompassing. I play a small part in Jason Reitman's SNL 75 movie, which is really cool. I saw the, I saw the paparazzi pictures. It yeah. Was really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. Like we shot at 30 rock and like really did it. And so, it's a really fun set to be a part of and yeah, yeah. I am working on a lot of music. I have a film that I am executive producing and starring and that I'm really excited about uh, called Straight Lies. I um, hopefully am working on Handmaid's Tale final season at some point this year. So much has been happening uh, mm -hmm. between the strikes and everything, but yeah, there's there's lots of very exciting things that are hopefully in the works and coming out soon. <laughs> On that note, uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Uh, good luck with the rest of your speed dating today. And yes. always great to talk with you guys. Thanks, Thank man. You. Yeah, great to see you.